<laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Halloween makeup tutorial on my husband. He's very good at getting the makeup done, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. So if you'd like to see how we created this look, then just keep watching. Right, okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is put some white face paint on his face and then I'm going to mix a bit of foundation into it as well um, because when you have to blend in the cuts, you need to use your makeup. So if you're a girl, you can leave the makeup on that you were already wearing and then when you have to blend your cuts, you'll blend it in wearing the same makeup or a boy that wears makeup. Right, so here I'm going in with a red and a brown eyeshadow and um, kind of just mixed together and uh, creating a dead look around his eyes. And um, so just go under the bottom, you wanna basically create um, dark circles and then into the eye sockets as well. Um, and then I put a little bit up onto his forehead as well um, to create bruising. Right, then I went in with a black eyeshadow and I did an almost kind of contouring thing. You just want to, um, you know, have sunken in cheeks. Um, and then I put it into the eye sockets as well to, you know, create the same look and then a little bit more onto the bruising as well. Then you can go in with um, your makeup and your face paint afterwards if you want to um, kind of blend it out a bit more, you know? Righty ho, so it is time to create the cuts and you do this with tissue paper. So I'm just um, pulling it apart so that you just literally have one of the sheets and then you rip it and the more jagged it is, the better it is. So I have um, three pieces of ripped tissue paper that I'm going to apply. So you put down your liquid latex, put on your first layer, put on a bit more liquid latex, put on your second layer and do the same with the third. And then you can do that, you know, any parts of your face that you want to create cuts. You could also do it on your neck if you wanted to. Uh, so I'm just putting one on his cheek and then I'll put one onto his forehead as well. Um, and then it's really important that you, you have the jagged edges on it and that you are putting on enough liquid latex because you need it to blend into your skin. Um, you don't want any of the bits sticking out and you'll find that I made that mistake myself. Okie dokie, so you just let that dry, it only takes about five minutes to dry and then you poke a hole in it with the tweezers and then you snip your cut along. So you can make it as short or as long as you want. Um, just cut a little line and then you can poke it open with the tweezers afterwards as well. Now, so this is where you need to do the blending. So again, I'm putting on more of the white face paint and then I'll put on more of the makeup so that I blend it in to be the same color that I made his face to start. So again, if you're using your makeup that you were wearing earlier in the day, then you're gonna use that same makeup that you were wearing and put it on over your cut so that it's blending in with your own skin tone. He's beautiful. Now I'm going back in with these red and brown colors and you just want to brush it over your cut because you're creating that bloody bruised look around it. I got it in his eyes. <laughs> yep, there we go. Just some more of the red and the brown around it. And you can take some uh, black and put it on there as well. And again, I am just blending it to make sure that it looks as realistic as possible. Although I'm not a makeup artist, so <laughs> it is a bit of a mess. Now, I'm taking some red and putting it inside the cuts. Um, so just red eyeshadow inside the cuts there to get that, um, that bloody look going. Beautiful. Right, this is fake blood. So I'm just painting the fake blood and this is a thick gel one, which I love. 
because it looks so realistic. So yeah, I'm putting it into the cuts and then what I'll do is just kind of paint a little bit so that it's kind of dripping out of it. And then what you can do is get a sponge and you can just dab the sponge on around the cut and then it looks super realistic and super gross. So I'm just getting the tweezers to open the cut up again because after you've been dabbing the sponge then you're gonna it's gonna kind of close the cut again. Um, so just taking the tweezers and just kind of pulling it apart opens it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he looks like he's gonna eat me. And once the blood was on, I kind of realized that he his eyes needed to be a bit darker, so I just went in with some more black. And that is it, he is done. So that is it for our Halloween makeup tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also let us know in the comments if you would like to see more, because you know, there's more where that came from. If you want it. Happy Halloween! Bye!